in this world full of negativity, how can we keep uh, a positive Christian mental attitude? Last week we looked at five ingredients to help us to be successful in this challenging day by remaining positive in this very negative world in which we are living. Let's continue today to focus on what we need to do to have a positive Christian mental attitude to affect this needed world around and about us. Number one, be continually filled with the Holy Spirit. Paul tells us in Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 18, do not be drunk on wine, instead be filled with the Spirit. The original translation is something like uh, go on being filled or keeping on being filled with the Spirit. Therefore, the question that we should be asking ourselves uh, is how can I do the work that Jesus did and even greater work? Well, we can. Because Jesus says, I'm going to the Father and he will give you another counselor, the Holy Spirit. One result of receiving the baptism of the Holy Spirit is empowerment, enabling us through the gift of the Holy Spirit to do his work and even greater works. May God help us uh, to recognize uh, that it is only by being continually filled with the Spirit uh, that we'll be able to fulfill uh, our God-given assignment. And number two, set realistic and clear goals. The Bible has many names uh, for setting goals. The call of God, the will of God, uh, the vision, the mission, uh, to name a few. There are also many examples of people in the Bible that set goal, including Noah saving his family and the animal from the flood. Joseph providing for Egypt and his family during the famine. And Nehemiah rebuilding the broken wall of Jerusalem in record time. Throughout the Bible, we see examples of God directly leading people to set and to pursue goal of his choosing. Whether it is telling Jonah to go to Nineveh or Paul to plant churches, yes, Scripture calls us to a higher standard in setting goals. And the goal we set as Christians must be in accordance with God's will and under his leadership. Number three, have a good appearance. The Bible is full of indication that God cares about our appearance. God created us in his own image. He designed each and every one of us in the womb. And we are his workmanship. He made each of us to look just as we do and believe it or not, we reflect his own beauty. Therefore, since God cares about our appearance, well, we ought to as well. Number four, don't be afraid of the word no. How do you respond when God says no to our prayers? Well, it was with a resounding no that God says to Paul, I will not take your thorn in the flesh away, but instead... I will give you sufficient grace to endure it. When God answers with a no, we should not respond with despair or despondency. And we must not think that, that our prayer were not worth the effort. But we must never forget, not only God knows all things, the end from the beginning, but he wants the very best for all of us. And sometimes the very best to some of our prayer will be no. So let's trust him implicitly even when he says no. And lastly, 
always be a how can I do it better person. As a Christian, we are held to a higher standard in our daily life because we are ambassador of Christ here on earth. This means that we should strive to bring glory to Jesus' name throughout our daily life, in our actions and in our word. The best way that we can become better people as Christians is by yielding to God's direction in our life, obeying the Holy Spirit and living in accordance with the divine manual. It is only when we live in obedience to the Lord that we will bring glory to his name. So do not be discouraged if the change doesn't happen overnight because it is a long process filled with up and down. But trust the Lord and rely on him to help you become a better person for him. So in conclusion, if we are ready to succeed, to have a positive Christian mental attitude, it is to have the mind of Christ. You may ask, how do I get the mind of Christ? Well, in order to have the mind of Christ, we must first have accepted Christ as our own personal saviour. As highlighted in John chapter 1, 12, then, after salvation, we as disciples of Christ must live a life under God's influence and know that with the Holy Spirit dwelling within us, He will infuse us with wisdom from heaven that we may be able to have a positive attitude found in Christ. In 1 Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 16, Paul quotes, in fact, Isaiah 40 and verse 13, and then he makes this statement concerning uh, all believers. We have the mind of Christ. Having the mind of Christ means sharing the plan, the purpose, and perspective of Christ. And by the grace of God, it is something that all believers possess. Hence why we can be victorious over negativity and influence others with a positive Christian mental attitude. God bless you.